Hello everyone. And hi. And From well, me. it's been you. And me and you. <laughs> yes, welcome everyone to this, you could say March, maybe, no, no March, March to May very, updates. Very late March. Uh, update. So yeah, we're doing kind of a, a blocked update because obviously we've been around for the last couple of months and there's a reason for that, I've been busy. You may have seen a little uh, promo video from Morrison's pop up on the channel and I'll explain that in a minute. But yeah, we've just uh, pretty much been quite busy with, with other things. Other things. Mm -hmm. We've all had s some variation of the flu that's knackered us out. I I've been a bit shagged Bronchitis, out recently. Etc. Yeah, well that was, that was over Christmas. But uh, mine's lingering on. But, but yeah, aside from that, you know, we're keeping on. We're, the final report, we're, we've finished block A, hence the now short hair and almost normal beard. Um, so we're going on to block B now, which is mostly your scene. So you're almost, we need to trim your hair for yeah, yeah. block B. And, and it almost need, I almost need a shave again already. I know, it's mad, isn't it? Yeah. Are you getting out old? Um, yes, so so for filming block wise for final report because we're keeping the final report as mysterious as possible while we can. Um, but I'm sure it will come out because I'm hoping to have a teaser trailer out soon for you. I don't know when because I was hoping to have it out before Christmas. That's how long ago I obviously had this planned out. But though no, we're, we're we're shooting the final report in three blocks obviously the first block you may have seen some images i might show you some now as i'm talking uh obviously that there was the me with the longer hair and the beard the show time has passed block b is like the reverse of those scenes where you're having mr myers on the other end and then block c is our hopefully will cross over with our reshoots of Object Legacy because what we're planning to do is get quite a few cameos in. As many cameos as we can to yeah, kind of... Depending on how many yeah, people are available. To kind of wrap up this little universe we've yeah, created. Yeah. Not completely because the story is well far from over but on the minimal budget level this is probably kind of like the pause point for us. So... Aside from Final Report, you've obviously heard us talking about Memory Remains, Steve's project with Dave. Uh, it's going along swimmingly. I think the last time I talked to you lot, we did a read through. Steve's been blocking the. I might, I might show you some screenshots he sent me. He's been doing storyboards, but with action figures. So you have like Spider Man and Daredevil set up. <laughs> um, oh, I'm not saying that. I don't think I've seen that yet. No, you haven't. No, no, no. I haven't seen the cut of his storyboards yet, yeah. but he's using the or recorded audio that we did from the read through yeah. and overlaying that with the storyboards. So, so it's almost like a cheap version of a previs, you could all argue. And I'm also hoping to maybe do a concept trailer for Memory Remains so you can kind of get a gist of how, what, what the film's about, the tone, what we're going for, because this is more unlike say the comedy we've done in the past and more the supernatural thriller we've done with uh, the anthology series this is more of a suspense uh, drama. drama so that would be quite interesting and it's a, a film that makes you think as well like you get it I think with the intention because obviously all three of us we've been working on it and I came in quite late at the stage I came up with a completely different ending which Admittedly, Steve quite liked, but it went in a completely different direction to what he said, and I completely understood why he didn't go for it. But it may be something we play around with later. But anyway, I'm sidetracking here. So, Memory Remains is coming along quite nicely. We're we're talking about like equipment and stuff, and we're we're mulling over actors at the moment. So we'll see about that. So, final report on the way we're just about to start block b with you yeah and final uh, final report uh, so if i and object legacy reshoots will be done with block c of final report memory remains still in pre-production but we're moving along very very slowly so what's the most recent thing i've worked on 
it would be a certain Morrison's promo video I made. Yes. So, I might do a separate video for this because I've recorded so, uh, I recorded loads of behind the scenes of like all all of my co-workers, you know, muddling about whilst we were filming it. But basically, it's the 125th anniversary. I'm not sure if it's for the company or just for like Market Street Counters, mm. but the whole push for this campaign was for. Uh, to promote a Market Street member and um, Nick Pryor who's in the video um, obviously he saw the email and was like you know what I'm going to go for this so he was talking to a good friend of mine Deb Comley who I've worked with since I've been there you know Deb I'm sure um, and she was instantly like well Nick knows filming so then he got then they got in touch with me we mulled it over all three of us kind of came together and you saw the final result and I will say right away straight away I think it's the quickest turnaround I've ever had yeah, first didn't. the first day when we were going to film it we didn't but I made sure to get some establishing shots and all that I'll show you some of them now as I'm talking and then when it came to the day of the main filming we filmed it all in about half an hour to an hour and that day I was also working so I had to then finish my shift at 3 o'clock go home and almost edit it straight away because it had to be sent off straight away to the cam campaign manager I believe at head office at Morrison's to go see so literally within a space of two hours of me getting home the thing was edited and sent it out, sent out yeah. it was great and I've uh, obviously Nick's uh, been talking to people in the store and I've obviously been talking to the campaign manager about it. Uh, I can't give away too many details, obviously, but we'll, what I will say straight away is, it, while it is for Morrison's, it's obviously a video not affiliated for Morrison's, it's to campaign to essentially for Nick to be maybe one of the faces in Morrison's mm -hmm. that you see in an advert or on one of the lorries, but it's not a video that was produced or paid for by Morrison's. Morrison's we did this right. off the skin of our back to help Nick get into this position so I just wanted to make that clear just in case oh what, what's going on here yeah. but yes it was it was a love it was it was a lovely experience it's really fun to get together with some of the work guys and film and it, it's 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 a weird it was kind of a weird atmosphere bringing obviously this this job into like my other job. my other job, yeah, and it was quite it's quite and interesting, quite a, a funny yeah. Yeah, mixture, yeah. yeah. And I'm sure I'm sure my my general manager will hate this at the time, but it was quite funny when we we're filming it, and him and a couple of the other managers were peeking behind the corner, behind a pillar, watching us, <laughs> making sure we weren't doing anything silly. But <laughs> Sam, that's for you. That is. Uh, um, so yeah, that's what we've been doing. And ironically, as I was doing it, one of the other counter guys, Neil, lovely guy, he's in a band. He's He's just starting up a brand new band with people that he's um, he's worked with over the years and he's hoping to start a brand new band with people that have really got that oomph and he's already asked me if maybe I'd be interested in to record some concerts for him and I yeah, said yeah I'd well, love to brilliant. like yeah. so things are moving forward in directions that's all different, I will say different directions different which directions, is actually wanted yeah. yes mm -hmm. yes and that's that was the whole purpose of and while we and haven't helping him. Uh, officially announced this company it's it's more of a freelance thing that's why I called it open hand productions I want to kind of go out and help people that are starting off or want their projects filmed that that is where to as, as little as our export expertise are I want to come out and help people if somebody wants somebody filmed and they have no idea what to start or they've got an idea in their head they've got a story they want to tell I want to be able to help them to tell their story as you know that that is you know I feel like will be my and it sounds stupid at this age and the good position we're in and stuff but I that will be my legacy in the end is helping others get their start mm -hmm. almost sounds like a bit of a teacher thing but not really no, it's no, kind no. of mentoring let's just say mentoring but yeah that, that and, that's and about producing yeah that well yeah I suppose producing as well mm. so so we're rambling on a bit uh, another thing we wanted to cover is obviously it's now May and um, 
Oh, it was Mother's birthday a couple of days ago, so we're going to say happy birthday happy to Mother birthday. on camera. It was your birthday, obviously, in April, so it was your birthday. And Father's Day as well, it's bloody been another thing was going on. When's Father's Day? Oh, no, Mother's Day. Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. As you can hear, Mother's in the background again, making a secret audio cameo. Um, <laughs> I've lost my train of thought. Oh yes, obviously May has started and Doctor Who has started. So, my, yeah, yeah. We, let's let's just say, um, uh, I know you had feelings. I, I, we're not. This is not a review. This is just our pr raw feelings on the subject. I didn't really enjoy. Either episode, the the first episode almost felt like a parody of Doctor Who, and the second episode had I had issues with, and then it kind of got interesting in the middle. There were interesting parts. It kind of got interesting in the middle, and then it just turned into a musical at the end. And I said this in one of my first reviews of Doctor Who. I uh, know the Christmas special. I said if Doctor Who turns into Riverdale, which is a, a CW show, you know, people that make The Flash and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It, that's essentially what happened to that show. It was a crime show about teens, and then just started becoming silly, and they had musicals every other episode, and it really put me off that show. Mm -hmm. And I feared Doctor Who's going the same way, so what we're thinking of doing... If they had a one-off special musical episode, that would be totally different. Yeah, it would be totally different, yeah. but it's not. Anyway, what we're contemplating doing is when we're, we're scrapping individual episode reviews for the meantime, because... It uh, would all be a bit negative. Yeah, we're not, we're not... And we don't want to put it down for yeah, the sake of other fans. Yeah, exactly. We're not, yeah. we're not that enthralled by what it is, so it feels like a waste to just put a video out just to bash on it so what we're contemplating on doing is waiting till the series is over which won't be that long because it's, no. it's only eight bloody episodes and they the first two in the same day yeah. and this is going to be another slight rant on, on, on Hollywood and stuff on general I don't yeah. get how it takes two years to film eight episodes when 10-15 years ago you could make 22 episodes in six months and have it air the same year I don't get it I don't know why stuff's ballooned Budgets are blown so much, but anyway, that's the rant over on that. So yes, only eight episodes of Doctor Who this year. So after those episodes are finished, we're gonna contemplate on making maybe a season review. Yeah, a review of the entire series so far to see what we've made in, of the direction. Yeah, but yeah, um, that, that's about it really. I'm not yeah. gonna get into specifics like like how the characters are portrayed and stuff because we can save that for our review. Mm -hmm. So. We've covered the basics. We've covered final report. We've covered we've covered memory remains. We've covered what we're going to do with the enemy reviews, and we've Morrison's, talked about the uh, Morrison's promo, promo video, which I'll do a separate video with behind the scenes for you. But oh yes, so what we got coming up? We've still got a few inside projects. We, me and you, want to do like an inside looking back at the Fear Inside because yeah. obviously we had a re-release, and as I mentioned after it ironically the director's cut came out i had another guy called Matthias uh, reach out to me who said he'd done music for it years and years ago it's funny how the fear inside has brought so many musicians yeah gonna to, that it's, it was weird isn't yeah it? so strange. there may be another cut but what it will be it won't be a version of the director's cut it'll be a version of the interactive film because there's only music for the beginning part rather than the endings. So it might be interesting to have Matthias's music to the core part yeah, of the film and yeah. then Andrew's to the to endings. The endings bit. So yes, you may see an alternate cut of the interactive version of the film but not the director's cut. So you'll still if you still want to see the master final cut, that is the the definitive version. We'll say that out. But yes, we're going to do an inside of that, talking back, looking at back at the experiences, the scenes, and what gave us the oomph to make the final cut. Because a lot of it stemmed from the businessman, really. But Overlapping we, and yeah, continuity. But we won't go into too much of that because obviously it's going to spoil the inside. Yeah. Obviously, we've got inside of the businessman to do, which is going to be a big long project because you and me are going to rewatch it, study scenes, talk yeah, about what we're yeah, going to talk yeah. about. And we've possibly thought about maybe doing a visual commentary with businessmen as well. Yeah. It might be quite interesting. 
Maybe, maybe Mother could be in it as well. Audio also. commentary, you mean? One, no, visual. Oh, like, right. you see us watching the film. A oh, bit, like Ironically, yeah. stick. Yeah, like Gogglebox, like what Doctor Who's doing at the moment. So, yeah. Russell, I'm stealing from you now after you've stolen loads of my ideas like by regeneration and stuff like that and someone being the doctor that's not the doctor. I'm watching you, Russell. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we've chatted enough, I think. So that is March to May part, part one. We, we'll see if we've got an update for you at the end of the May. I can't guarantee it. Oh, we could always stick one in. I'm yeah, sure. I, if if I've got to work on these trailers and stuff because I've been quite lax on editing. Oh, I tell you what, I might do as well. Uh, I've been playing a lot of, ironically, two Final Fantasy games. We've had part two of Final Fantasy VII remake come out, Rebirth. Uh, I might do a review for that. I'm thinking about that, and I'm currently playing through Final Fantasy 16, so I may do like mini reviews for that. My overall feelings. What did I think about the ending of Rebirth? Because I know a lot of people are a bit confused about that. You need to get a bit further through the uh, 16. Oh yeah, 16. I've only just yeah. started, but but Rebirth and remake can obviously do so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that is about my thoughts on it. I don't know about you. Do you, do you no, I totally agree else? with you. I mean, I have nothing new to add, really. I mean, I, I'm beside you with all these projects. Um, I so can't think of anything new. Wasn't anything reproduction side you were thinking of doing? Not maybe? anything updated since last time, no. So basically, you've done nothing. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I've not been well, you know. No, oh, me never. <coughs> <coughs> right. That that'll be it then. Au revoir, Alvi to saying. Farewell and see you next time. Good luck. Hope you make it to the next one. I hope we make it to the next one. And thank you for your continued support. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, audience. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take a look. Take a look. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir.